Who wants to use a Phenom? Do you need an AMD budget board? Are you an AMD fanboy? Do you want to stay away from the Intels for whatever reason? You want to use one of those tri-cores or quad cores that are out there? Uh, this is a board that you might want to consider. It's very affordable. It does pretty much everything you need and it's a good board. I, I can't find anything wrong with it. I really like it. Plus, you got to love stuff from Gigabyte. All their stuff is so high end. Got to gotta love all the quality. So, uh, this is actually the S series from Gigabyte. So, this is the GAMA770 S3. So, this board, what this is going to do is going to support your AM2 Plus sockets. It's going to do all your Phenom tri and quad cores, all your Athlon dual cores. It's going to do it all on a budget. And it's going to give you pretty much all the high end features that you want with none of the extra stuff. So, what do you get? You do get AM2 Plus. You do get four DIMMs instead of two. Uh, you will be able to support up to 16 gigabytes of DDR2, which is very nice. It's not just, uh, you know, eight. It actually goes up to 16. It will take the four gig sticks. You're not going to use it now, but maybe in the future you will. Uh, the other thing I like about the memory on this is that it takes the faster RAM. It won't just stick to 800 megahertz DDR2. This will go to 1066 megahertz RAM. Uh, it has support for ECC RAM, which is also very nice uh, for your memory, uh, you know, as, as memory option. Uh, let's talk about audio it also has 7.1 onboard audio, so eight channels of audio is great. You're not gonna need more than that. It does have a PCI Express slot, and that is a PCI Express 2.0. So if you wanna run one nice video card, this is definitely gonna work on your system. You can run that with a Phenom, two or four gigs of RAM, and a nice hard drive, and you can build a very, very nice, fast budget system. It won't cost you a lot. You'll be able to do tons of multitasking if you go with a Phenom uh, tri or dual core, uh, and you get all this at a great budget. On top of the PCI Express 2.0, you also get uh, three PCI X1 slots that are right here and then you get two extra PCIs. So again, another great board for workstations, business computers, where you need to add a lot of peripherals, fiber cards, audio cards, anything extra that you might need, you have a lot of ability uh, to add to this card. Uh, you also get four SATA connectors and you get all the RAID options as well. So that's always very good as well. Now let's go over the board real quick kind of told you most of the information that you're going to need to know about this board, but let's go to the tour because it is customary. Starting off with your AM2 socket, as you saw, it's right there. Four DIMMs, dual channel, up to 1066 megahertz, DDR2, obviously, and it uh, will take the ECC memory, which is also a nice little option. Uh, moving right along, your 24-pin power connector. Moving down, you get your IDEs and your floppy headers. Four SATA ports, of course, they do support RAID 0, 1, and 0 plus 1. Down here's all your little power connectors and your floppy. These are your two PCIs, your three PCI Express X1s, and then, of course, the best one, the PCI Express 2.0, which is going to do uh, all your video cards, all the latest and greatest stuff. Uh, moving along to the back panel, if you take a look, starting over here from the far right, uh, your PS2s for your legacy keyboard and monitors. You got the SP diff. You have both versions. You have the coax version and you have the optical version, so that's great. Serial. You may use this. A lot of people have, you know, very specific needs on maybe uh, an old printer or they're hooking this up to some sort of um, uh, machinery and that needs to be, you know, controlled by a computer. This is what people use this for, mostly for old printers, but still, you still might use your, uh, your serial port from time to time and especially if you need something that has serial, this one does have it, so keep this one in mind. You got six USB 2.0 ports on the back, which is great. You also have more internal headers to add more as well as two firewires up here at the top. Here is your Ethernet. And then, of course, you have your 7.1 channel high def audio. So, eight channels in total, 7.1. That's uh, seven speakers plus your sub. So, uh, great board. Again, if you're in the market for something that's cheap, budget AMD, this is going to be right up your alley. It also comes with a bunch of great stuff that Gigabyte provides you. Uh, you know, all these manufacturers have their own little toys that they give you, their little prizes. And sometimes it's stuff in the box, and sometimes it's stuff on the board. Uh, so, you know, you can go to the Gigabyte website, which is actually gigabyte.com.tu, and they have have all the information on all the extra features that it comes with. Uh, it talks about the solid state capacitors. It talks about the AMD overdrive system, the app bio system. Uh, there's the Q flash system, which is fantastic. Express install, smart fan. They have all these things uh, that come with a board like this to help you work on them. Some of them help you overclock from inside the operating system. Uh, other things monitor all the hardware configurations on your computer uh, to make sure that everything's running stable and you can monitor all your temperatures, your frequencies, voltages, as well as modify all those settings at the same time. So it's a great, great board. Uh, again, if you have any questions on this or any of my products that I show you on the show, feel free to email me at the email provided, and uh, I will see you guys next time.
For more information on the Gigabyte MA770S3 Socket AM2 motherboard, go to compusa.com and type in G452-2356 into the search box. Or you can call us 24 hours a day, seven days a week at 1-800-COMPUSA. Thank you.